What's up everybody? I'm here with another Arcadian preview. This time I'm joined by Shrutik representing East Bay. How you doing Shrutik? Doing great man, how are you? Uh, I'm doing well, yeah. It, it is going to be a banger event on August 12th. Um, I wanted to pick your brain and I know I do this every year. We did this last year actually. Yeah, we did. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. It was. Yeah, and I know uh, you, you don't live in NorCal anymore, but mm -hmm. you come up so often, you're a ranked player. Have you ever thought about being on the PR panel or anything like that? Uh, I like to complain about the PR. I don't like to True. actually make the PR. That's the smartest. That's the smartest. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But you've been up here enough. You, you mm -hmm. can, you kind of keep in touch with a lot of people that are up here. I know you go to school in SoCal now, but I wanted to pick your brain for who you think are the dark horses, people you think are going to do well, people specifically that you want to shout out and um, and see if they'll. Like, I'm not bad. People you want to shout out. Uh, people that, yeah, people that you think will do well. Right, absolutely. Yeah. So obviously, you know, um, everyone knows the top seeds, K, Titan, Skeletal, Nathan, Viper, you know. Uh, personally, I'm, I'm rooting for my boy Titan. I've known him the, I've known him the longest out of anybody uh, in NorCal. He's in my Wi-Fi crew when I was first starting to get good. So I'm personally yeah. putting my heart out there for Titan. I'm rooting for you, man. Uh, but regarding everyone else, uh, I have a lot of friends who are partaking in this year's Arcadian. Uh, first one I want to shout out is my boy McClappin, Titus, whatever tag he's going by now. Mm -hmm. uh, definitely one of the hardest workers in the room. He had a really nail-biter set with Crimson today, which I think shows exactly the type of player he is. Just uh, oh, yeah. super, super willing to do whatever it takes to win. Definitely one of the hardest workers I know. So I'm really hoping to see him go far. Um, who else from the East Bay? Oh, Menace. A menace is oh, claimed yeah. by Santa Cruz, but he went to my high school, so I'm claiming yeah. him. Okay. No, I think that's just uh, super valid because yeah. they come up here a lot, and like obviously we got to mention Hyro with yeah. Menace, but yeah, <laughs> Menace slept on honestly. Menace is uh, really really good. Um, yeah. People people always forget about him because his his brothers doing pretty crazy things with the Pichu, uh, but ever since the switch to Rob. Menace has been doing, you know, insanely, insanely well. A lot of people sleep on him. I think he, uh, I'm not fully sure, but I'm pretty sure he has a Nest Boy win now with the Rob. Oh, wow. Um, he's come very, very close to beating me uh, multiple times. And I think that given the right bracket, he can go really far. Um, yeah. an another person that not many people know, um, and I don't think anyone's going to shout out, is Honda. Uh, Honda, I think his tag right now is like, I don't know, something edgy, Dark Magician it's Girl. It's definitely something edgy. Yeah. I know what it is, Yeah, <laughs> but I, I'm not going to say it on YouTube. Is it, is it inappropriate? I don't know what it it's is. It's a little inappropriate. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> Honda's definitely one of the biggest players to watch out for. And the reason for this is because everyone sleeps on him, and then he ruins your bracket That's, every single time. I was going to say because, you know, it's funny because when I was doing my own Dark Horses, like, mm -hmm. I actually I put Honda on my on my dark horses list like he's not seated the best mm -hmm. like he's, he's not seated to win the whole thing but i think he's gonna cause an upset or two yeah he's he's gonna ruin someone's yeah. bracket for sure because every single time you know he's he's taken out jim root who's one of the top seeds you know yeah he recently beat el soda with ridley he yeah. i think took d tier to game five as k rule like he everyone doesn't take him seriously and then he bodies you yeah. and then you're just like oh i just got cheese like no he's really that good and he's gonna farm you you know yeah um so he's definitely someone to watch out for uh who else uh everyone knows about aiden the peach i presume aiden's very solid yeah um, actually aiden was mentioned by al soda mm -hmm. in in his recap or his his preview aiden very solid peach player i think that aiden's gonna go far aiden aiden's expectations for me are like top eight yeah he's someone with a lot of potential i think aiden can struggle with nerves at times like i've played him a lot of times and he yeah. does it was just a little bit, but um, Reggie Miller. yeah, <laughs> but he's definitely someone who I also expect to go far because, you know, a lot of what this bracket is, when you look at the compilation, it's a lot of problem characters and very little problem solver characters. And yeah. what I mean by that is like you have zoners and zoners and more zoners, and then you have poor Jim Rude and Aiden and, and Titan trying to fight their way through it, you know, yeah. um, and honestly, in an Arcadian setting, as someone who was projected to win, or not projected to win, but second place at last year's Arcadian, you know, mm -hmm. top three in the inaugural Arcadian, at the Arcadian, your nerves are king. Because yeah. as much as people might say, like, I'm not an anime pro tag, they're an anime pro tag. 
they don't want to you gotta like that has to overlap a little bit in your yeah, mentality exactly and it's just like when you the arcadian is gonna be a massive nerf fest and it's gonna be the champion of the arcadian is the person who's the least nervous and this is my hot take personally but i think someone who's gonna do really well at the arcadian is jishan ah man I agree with you, actually. Like, he, I think this is his breakout event, yeah. if anything. Because Jashan, he has... I looked at everyone on the Arcadian, and I think he has by far the most solid mental out of anybody. Because, mm-hmm. uh, you know, he's a mature guy, very well-spoken, you know? Uh, more than that, um, firstly, he plays a problem character. You he know? plays multiple problem he characters. He plays a lot of problem characters. <laughs> yeah. And he's calm, and he's collected, and he doesn't care. Like, yeah. he is probably the most dangerous opponent to have in a setting like this. So, for that reason, I think he's also definitely, like, I'm, I'm putting him on my fantasy rack. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, we haven't leaked that yet. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't even know if fantasy rack is out, but once it drops, frame one. Yeah. Deshaun's on my roster. So Yeah, he'll be value, too, because mm-hmm. I think he's, I, I'm pretty sure he's been, like, underseated. Yeah. Um, anyone else I'm missing? I think that's pretty much all my main people. Um, there's a lot of people, so I don't blame you. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but honestly, like, I do expect. I think seating, at least preliminary seating, outside of carpool conflicts and all that. Like, I think the large scale. Um, oh, I did forget to mention one person. Uh, so what y'all know about Archon? Do you know Archon? Oh, Jiggy Eric. Jiggy Eric. Yeah. So Archon also plays a problem character yep. and he i think is going to be one of the most once again one of the, another extremely dangerous person to fight because like jashan he has a very clear mental he actually helps me a lot with my mental a lot mm-hmm. um and the thing is with archon is he is probably he didn't compete in our first inaugural like college pr um but if he were to compete he was easily top four or top three like he's insanely good when you say college pr mm-hmm. i know he goes to slow yeah so uh, I go to Santa Barbara. He goes to San Luis Obispo. We had a region. We we, we unified our regions. So we called it the Central Coast PR. Oh. Okay. Um, and like, he he didn't compete that season because he just had a lot of stuff going on with his final year. But, um, he he's beaten me. He he pushes me every single time we play. Uh, he's probably one of the most like fundamentally solid deities I've ever played. Uh, he beats. He's beaten Sal Gonza on his very first NorCal tournament here. He beat Sal Gonza. And then he ended up getting DQ'd for alting. <laughs> I remember that. Yeah. Um, but in any case, the win did happen. And I saw it. And yeah. I was there. Um, and so the thing is, is also he's very good at adapting on the fly, you know? Yeah. And when you have a dark horse, when you have a character like DDD who's just going to nuke you if you mess up, yeah. paired with a player who is not scared of you paired with also just really good fundamentals that's like a ticking time bomb for also like once again someone's bracket getting ruined i do strongly believe that archon and honda have very good chances to top eight yeah um but yeah i don't know that's just now that's everyone now that's everyone yeah no that's a really solid list Mm -hmm. and i think i think a lot of these players are going to surprise us even past their expectations. I would not be surprised if we saw an Archon win. Mm-hmm. I would not be surprised if we saw like Honda get like top three. Like though like all those names could very realistically top top two, even win the Arcadian straight up. They're just that good. Like, yeah. That way like the only thing holding them back is that they've never been ranked for one reason or another and like all those names are very solid players. So yeah, that's a great list. Yeah. And if you want to see if any of these predictions come true, tune into the NorCal Arcadian, August 12th. It's here on Guildhouse, and it'll also be on twitch.tv slash RPSville. We got doubles, we got singles. Even if you've never been ranked, you can still come. If you've been ranked, like you can still come. You can still come. Yeah, it's open to everybody. And yeah, that is going to do it for us. Mm-hmm. Uh, thank you so much, Shrudik. That was awesome. Thank and you for having I me. I wish you best of luck in SoCal. and. I appreciate you, man. man. I'll see you at Kenner Guildhouse, probably. By the way, I don't get to do. I don't. I don't get to do this because (laughs) 
Nobody else has a YouTube, but if you want to, <laughs> you should follow my friend Shrudik yeah. on YouTube. I'll link that down below. Yeah, check me out on my at. You'll find everything. I am. Uh, I play this game for content now, so I'm washed up. I'm retired. I want to get there. I want to <laughs> get that good. Yeah. Honestly. But yeah. Thank you very much, Shrudik. Thank you for having me, man. Have a good night. Peace out.